Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to discuss about if.eagerdex function, which is a logical function. And today is Sunday, Sunday means Dex Sunday. So let's get started. The very first, what is it? What is the definition of if.eager function? Well, it's similar to the if function, but here we are going to consider the performance aspect. If.eager function checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false. It uses eager execution plan. So before going further, let's look at its syntax. If you will look at closely, the syntax is exactly the same as of the if. If.eager function was recently introduced in the dex functions list. And before that, we used to use simply the if function. But now we know that in dex, whenever we are creating any measures or utilizing dex to create any calculated column, we always concerned about the performance. If the performance is not enough, then definitely it has no use for us. So for performance tuning, always consider which DEX function is important to you. And there are certain cases when we are repetitively using the measure that we have created. So in those cases, if.eager function is very beneficial. So its syntax is gonna be, as you can see on my screen, if.eager logical test that means the condition and then it's gonna return a result if true otherwise it's gonna return the alternative result when it's gonna be false and also remember that it's gonna return a single value of any type so the return value is always it's gonna be scalar value that is a single value the result data type can be variant if result true and result false are of different data type the function attempts to return a single data type if both results true and result false are of numeric data type. In the later case, the if.eager function will implicitly convert data types to accommodate both values. You should also remember that if.eager has the same function behavior as the if function as I just mentioned to you, but performance may differ due to differences in the execution plan. If dot eagle has the same execution plan as you can see the dex expression on your screen so what we are doing over here we are just creating certain variables and then returning the result and using those variable values over here so we all know that in dex it's the best practice that you should always use the variables so that you can improve the performance of your dex expression or your measures so what if dot eagle does it automatically creates a variable and then you don't need to explicitly define the variables and you can use that if dot eagle instead of if and it would automatically do the rest of the work over here you should also notice that calling if dot eagle and force eager evaluation of the conditional expression instead of relying on choice between strict and eager evaluation made by the dex engine this function should be used only in very particular case of DEX optimization after verifying that it produces a clear performance advantage compared to the regular if function. If you are not sure about that, then I'll request you to always try to execute your DEX expression first using the DEX studio and check the performance. Otherwise, just use a simple if function. So let's see a quick demo how we can use it or how you can check your DEX expressions output. So guys, I'm going to log in on my dex.do website. This is the website created by SQL BI team where you can go and you can play with the DEX. That means you can create your own DEX expressions and you can see their outputs over here. And over here, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this Contoso DB and I'm going to create a DEX expression and we'll see the output of this. So I have already copied my DEX expression, which I'm going to paste over here. 
So this is my text expression and it's simply using the if statement rather than if dot eager. So we can run it over here and we can see the output. Now this is the output of this. You can even convert the output into graph, line chart or pie chart if you would like to. But let's just work on the table. So this is a way that you can evaluate or you can play with your DEX expression so here but here we cannot check the performance exactly so what you can do instead of this if you will just click over here on your right hand side window you can see what is this DEX expression so you will get its definition and other aspects of it like its parameters but I can change it over here if dot eager and now I can execute it you will see it's executing the same way and there's not much of the performance issue over here because it's a small one but whenever we are using a lot of more calculations like for example your sales amount you are repeating it multiple times into your return statement in that particular case I'll request you to use if dot eager rather than if so this was the one way to look at into this but there is a difference between strict versus eager so in DAX we have a evaluation criteria for if and strict if you would like to know more about if and eager then I'll provide you link in the description section so please don't forget to check that out so guys I just showed you how you can utilize DAX.do website to evaluate your DAX expressions how you can check that if you are more interested in order to check the performance of your DEX expression then I'll request you to use DEX studio uh, basically you can do the performance tuning over there for your DEX expressions thank you very much guys for watching this video if you have any questions and concern please connect with us via our website or you can directly email us stay tuned guys for more exciting videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon